Uh, without any waste of time, can you open with me the book of Psalms, chapter 5? From verse 1, 2, 3. How if it's a more of a Proverbs chapter 8? Rekoho is from verse 34. Yone ibalecha kasila in sinyana. Psalms chapter 5 bakaudi mwe. Pesali me chapter 5. Listen to my word, Lord. Consider my lament or my cry. Verse 2, it is here my cry for help. My King and my God, for to you I pray. In the morning, Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I lay my request before you. And wait expectantly. Can you underline for me? Wait expectantly. Harifesamo Arianko Proverbs chapter 8. Proverbs chapter 8, Rokobala from verse. 34. Blessed are those who listen to me. Blessed are those who listen to me. Come on, so I'm we by believe blessed are those can I give bow in holiday, obey my commandments, my precepts, or my laws. Blessed are those who keep my ways. Watching daily at my doors. Waiting at my doorway. And you promise. You wait because Mudimo or promise says something. Kikamo Mukwadi Wabuka e ha kwala. Or waiting at my doorway. For those who find me, find life and receive a favor from the Lord. For those who find me, find life and receive a favor from the Lord. But those who fail to find me, harm themselves. Waiting upon the Lord, David waited on the Lord. And Hoema cannot wait on the Lord requires faith. And faith comes by hearing and hearing by the weight of God. When you read the book of Hebrew chapter 11 verse 1, the Bible says that the faith is being shown of what we hope for 
and certain of what we do not see. Verse 2, ya teng ere. This is what the Asians were commended for. How we jump Oyako verse 6. It, and without faith, it is impossible to please God. Because anyone, anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists. And that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. I don't have time to tell about Noah, Cain, Abel, Enoch, Isaac, and Jacob. But when you read the book of Hebrew again, chapter 11, verse 11, it and by faith, even Sarah, who was past the childbearing age, we all know the story of Sarah. It is highly impossible. But the Bible says that he was enabled to bear, to bear children because he considered him faithful who had, who had made the promise. And from this one man, Bible mo ibuaka Abraham. And he as good as dead. From his loins, moniteken la came the descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky. And all these people were still living by faith. When they died, Bible ere bangwe babone brother Simon, Bible ba solo fediwa, byema and they waited upon the Lord, but utwa Bible ere. But they did not receive the things promised. They saw them and welcomed them from a distance. Admitting that they were strangers and foreigners on this planet earth. These people, the Bible says that they were looking forward to a country whose architect and builder is God himself. They were longing for a better country, a heavenly one. Therefore, God is not ashamed to be called their God. That is faith, Baselani. All these heroes. And heroines of faith. I don't have time to speak about that. Thank you, Jesus. Amen, Baseloani. Are you going to go? David waited upon the Lord. Sela yabo kresite ba kaulinga kana the part of the righteous entails the patience and waiting on the future glory of Christ to be revealed. It is not yet revealed. 
According to the Oxford Dictionary, Dictionary of Ekalosa, it defines a patience as the capacity, Bukoni, the capacity to accept or to tolerate delay, trouble, or suffering without getting angry or upset. In other words, patience is essentially waiting with grace. Part of being Christian is the ability to accept unfortunate circumstances gracefully. But you accept it gracefully while having faith that you will ultimately find a resolution in God. Patience is an important part of helping us to grow and become stronger in our faith. The path of righteousness entails patience and waiting on the future glory of Christ to be revealed. When we read the book of Romans chapter 8 verse 18, it says that consider that the suffering of these present times are not worthy. They are worthless. Compared to the glory that will be revealed unto us. They are nothing compared to the glory. Kalalelo, euretai senu leluang, kalisa sili. Haki si horiling, but you need hope. You need to believe. You need something to motivate you. Horudumel de seo. For one day, I will see this glory. Note Paul's opening phrase. Therefore, I consider. The word means to reckon, to think about, or ponder. In other words, this paragraph is the result of Paul's careful biblical thinking about suffering. Hasinto eu i kelang fela. Hasinto i kelang fela mo ko mo ko mo apostola Paulos. Kona le pei ni ena mo apostola Paulos. Alla ka yo ne muruti ma bazo arisoro na chiroki ngaki isi mo somo ng yaka theologian. Are this thing is a thorn in my flesh. You took my infirmities and bore my weaknesses, and by the stripes of Jesus Christ I am healed. accept <laughs> For me to live is Christ and to die is a gain. Has he la something? 
but because of this story. Therefore, Bazelwani, it's important to think biblically about suffering because when it sobers you, I will be sad. I will be sad about all the things You will be engulfed by a wave of powerful emotions. O tadi kuto la lo ena ba kuto ao momo yen o to huime loa. O to huime loa. Baba ngwe haba dirisa si kwa se 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 bonolo bare o to ba overwhelmed. We, we are like sheep ready to be slaughtered. But for you to wait upon him. You need, you need this hope. You need this faith. Patience. He was not ignorant. Paul was not ignorant or blind to the suffering of human existence. He experienced them more. He experienced more of them than most of any of us. Yet he still considered that the future glory far outweighed the present suffering. For this message of the cross, it is foolishness unto those who are perishing. But unto us is the power of God. Without a heavenly hope, Paul considered the Christian life foolish and tragic. The future glory, Kalaleno, Eori Buanka, Yoneba Kauli, it's not totally revealed to us yet. But it includes the revealing of all that God has promised to us. Habua mo apostola Paulo see in the same same book of Romans. And the whole creation is on tip two to see the wonderful sight of the sons of God coming into their own. For the sons of God to be, manifest, to be manifested. The manifestation of the sons of God. The nature is in The creation weighs in eager expectation for the sons of God to be relieved. And we know that the creation has been groaning as in pains of childbirth right up to the present time. The creation the tarzeo di bonanzi le fas hileo le bonanzi le sone baka ule ngu diala di mo peining di nyore si hobona kalaleluye Not only so, but we ourselves, who have the first fruits of the Spirit, grown inwardly, as in pains of childbirth. We grown inwardly as we wait eagerly for our adoption. 
adoption to sonship and the redemption of our body. Bible ere kasela eo asama ile nka yone o tla tla ka yone. Ere ha tlhagella matho othe a tla be ammo a tla mmona le bao ba mo tlhaba ka kileng. Hona ba o re tla ben re tshilakana ku yeo re tla mo khatlanyetsa mebele ya rona e tla fetoga. That is the full redemption. Paul says when Christ, who is our life, is revealed, then you will also be revealed with him in glory. Erem Bible, in him we move, in him we live, and in him we have our whole being. Kekamo ere. Reta senulwa. Liye ne. Kanarele mokho ye ne. Mokha la lelu. The book of Thessalonians. Says it was for this reason. That he called you through. Our gospel. That you may gain the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Kile baka leo ulibile ditwe. And when you read the book of Hebrew chapter 2 verse 10 with the Ipala Kohai, 1 John chapter 3 verse 8, the glory is a hard concept to get your brain around. But it includes all of God's promises to bestow on us. Can I be Di kumo saka kreste jeso. Seo di sa khoni ngkhole kanyidi. Street of gold. Gates of pearl and mansion prepared for us. Are limited analogies. That say you can imagine. How wonderful it will be. The future glory. Includes the full renewal of creation to its original perfection and purpose. The future glory includes our freedom from sin and its corruption. The full redemption of our bodies. The path of the righteous entails patience and waiting on the future glory of Christ to be revealed. But also the promise of strength to meet our trials and temptations here and now and to do righteous acts to honor the Lord. Mudimo or regilen if you tell her, go to the book of First Peter chapter 1, from verse 8, uh, 18 up to, up to 19. For you know that God paid a ransom to save you from the empty life you inherited from your ancestors. And it was not paid with mere gold or silver, which loses the value. It was the precious blood of Christ, the sinless, spotless lamb of God. Kikamo ha buamo apostola Paulo si. I reconsider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters. Whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith develops a perseverance and perseverance must finish its work so that you may be matured and complete lacking nothing. So you need to allow that process to take place.
Waiting does not mean empty time or space. You study the word of God to motivate yourself. You pray. Oya kwa altaring ya ka dafita abuwa. Fela ja ka ba prista obase tabelo sa ga go mole. Gore go tle go felletse go tswele nko le le mona. You occupy the moment and space you are in, but don't forget that God wants to take you somewhere new in his timing. For his timing is perfect. And when he says it's time to go, be willing to leave. Oscar Yema. How Israel through the mouth of Moshe? Ari, you have stayed too long on this mountain, the Mount of Horeb. It is time for you now to move. Ari, Samaye. Had a pillar of cloud in Samaya, in Salem Muraho. Had a pillar of cloud in Libona, in Samaya, in Salem Muraho. For it is time now to move. The biblical waiting is not a passive activity. How do you feel about calling me Osa de Recipe? But is demonstrated by active dependence upon and obedience to God. Waiting upon God is a spiritual discipline that we should seek to practice in our lives. It is a spiritual discipline by calling we that we should seek to practice in our life. In the scriptures, Mama Kwalomba Zelwani, the word wait means to hope. And hope is a powerful motivator. It's what replaces worry with calmness. It's what replaces despair with joy. And cowardice with courage. Our God is the God of hope. The gospel is the hope of glory. And faith is a, is a living hope that promises to never disappoint. Wait means to, to anticipate. He said, underline the word expectantly wait. Wait means to anticipate, expect. To look forward to, to be sure that something will happen, especially something present. Barcelona to hope and trust in the Lord requires faith, patience, humility, meekness, long suffering. Le fokole long suffering le soa from the Greek word ere makrothumia which means long tempered or patient. It is perseverance, endurance, and the ability to withstand attacks, insult, even physical suffering without giving away. Without giving away. Osa your soul to the evil one. Keeping the commandments and enduring to the end. To wait upon the Lord means planting the seed of faith and nourishing it. 
Why Tokumela? We Nusa Peuena, we Nusa may see. Set Tarasat and Hasifesa Hola was a prune of a Gaudi. Was a Tokumela or a Hasip can now quest a projusama Ungo Nakwes a projusama Ungo. Se projusema Ungo. Our recurring. These are the best fruits. These are the best fruits. Harebuika bodi strawberry, bodi raspberry, mo bazeloani. Rebuaka the fruits of the spirit. The fruits of the spirit. Keka mo hotoke ham bazeloani hori. Se tarise kana peuye. We tokumele kana kutsoche. David truly understood. The term wait for it. He lived that. Oni at hilaseo. Sene silemo di en bibiza DNA. Yahata feed. When you read the book of Psalm chapter 5, Rebadi Le Bazelwani, we see David approaching God in the morning. Bible hire bali exit hore ne le kana koma But how can lebella na ko eba tlanka ba modimo all the prophets Bon Nehemiah bo Isaiah na ko enne ba rapela ka yone bazelwane 3 o talk in the morning some of them ne batsoga We see David approaching God in the morning I give ear to my give ear to my word, O Lord. Consider my meditation or my lament. Hear my cry for help, my King and my God. Utwasel losaka. Utira seo anse amo shipa. Wa musa umma kosi tulon saka. Arikana wena ukosi ibilo more. And what specifier are for to you alone? I pray. The Psalm of David it shows David coming in the morning and receiving strength and joy he needs to make it through the day against many adversaries or attacks. Are give ear. Consider, give heed. He longs for an audience with God. He longs for a formal meeting with God. Using the Hebrew word, the Hebrew method of parallelism. Come on, so I'm going to be able to say the focus. Hararo, make us a seudi farlohani. He repeats the same idea three times. Lord, please listen to me. Give ear, consider, give heed. For to you I pray. He prayed to God. His prayer time was focused on God. He was a great man of prayer. He was a prayer warrior. Consciously recurring, he was focused on God. And a canna quail at Salem Matuaha, where are Libisi said it having? Got to Soyaha, where it He sensed the presence of the Lord. Hori, he is here with me. He sensed, he sensed the presence of the Lord. Are my voice you shall hear in the morning. He made it a point to pray in the morning. He did this because he wanted to honor God at the beginning of his day. 
and set the tone for an entire day dedicated unto God. When I can acquire how Loraba Lui Baho Pahami Yaka or Kareba Pahami Lou Fiabo Roto David Tikan Aquio or Shebile Sefapa or Rapela Mudimo How Loraba or Camille can acquio and he's in the presence of the Lord. He's in the presence of the Lord. In the, in the morning, I will direct. I will direct my prayer to you, Lord. I will look up with expectancy. I will look up with expectancy to heaven, really believing that God will answer. Tagetalo sang le fukule to direct Kabu Kutswane Bazeloani. Leo Talo sat hapelue, Yahada fita Kabu Kutswane, Haki Fesaka Tabekia Hudula, Fasik Shok says if it did fifteen minutes. Yaka. The idea behind the direct, it is not to aim, but is to order, to arrange. How are I will arrange my prayer before thee? Mudimo, I will arrange or I will order my prayer before thee. I will lay it out. Fela ya kasi tabelo si seiwa si aho beiwa ko altar en horisi chisiwe. Lena fela jalo, I will lay it out at the altar in the morning, just as the priest lays out in the morning sacrifice. Hear my cry for help, my King and my God, for to you I pray. Give ear, consider, and give heed. 